In this video, we're going to look at how we can patch ESX and ESXi systems using PowerCLI 4.0U1. So what I've got here is I've got a, a um, virtual center with four ESX hosts, and uh, they're all running ESXi build 164.009. And uh, so basically, they're all identical at this point. Um, on the side, I've downloaded this patch called uh, 2009.07.001 which actually upgrades the firmware of ESXi to a later build. So the goal is really to take that patch and apply it to all of these uh, ESX hosts uh, automatically. So here we are in PowerCLI. Let's take a look at GetVM host, and we can see those same hosts there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch into the um, data store browser called VM Store. We take a look here, we can navigate into the data center, and when we look here, we can see all the data stores that are accessible to all these ESX hosts. Now, one of these data stores is called NFS, and it's actually accessible to all of these ESX hosts. Within here, I've created a uh, directory called patches. But right now, the directory is empty, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the commandlet called copy data store item, and I'm going to give it the path of that patch that I have locally on my desktop. And I'm going to tell it to copy that locally into this data store directory, and I'm going to give it a dash recurse argument as well. Now, when this is done, we're going to have this patch staged in a place that all of these ESX hosts can see it, and so it will be very easy to patch all of those ESX hosts at the same time. The patch is about 60 megabytes, so it takes a little while to actually upload that. But once we do, again, you know, it'll be very easy to deploy that to as many hosts as we wanted to deploy it to. All right, let's take a look at what has um, happened. So what we've done here is we've copied in this uh, patch to the local directory. And you can see we indeed have a uh, folder of that name. We can also take a look inside um, and just use tab completion here. And one important thing we can see here is there's a file in here called metadata.zip. So let's take another look at our host. And what I'm going to try to do first is let's just try to uh, apply this patch to the first host that I've got here. Um, so let's take this particular host. And we have a commandlet called install vm host patch. And we can give it a, a, an argument, a dash host path. And the way this works is you always start it out with vmfs volumes. And then you give it the name of the data store, which is nfs in this case. You give it the path. And uh, now we also need to include this um, patch name. So I'm going to just copy that over. And then also the metadata.zip. So if you want to install a single patch, uh, a patch to a single host, this is how you can, you know, this is the basic format. So let's run this and see what happens. Okay, so what we see here is the uh, host needs to be in maintenance mode in order for this to actually work. And I didn't uh, bother to put any of the hosts into maintenance mode. So the way we can do that is we can say get VM host, type that into set VM host with the dash state argument of maintenance. Okay, that's going to go through and set all of those hosts into maintenance mode. Now, if you're in a DRS cluster, you want to get VMs evacuated, you can use the uh, dash evacuate argument on set VM host to have all those VMs migrated off. In my case, I don't have that, so I'm not going to bother. So now, um, let's go uh, back. And, and so basically, I'm going to tweak this a little bit so that I can actually patch all of these systems at once. Uh, simultaneously. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find a little variable here, and um, I'm going to say get VM host, pipe that into for each, and I'm going to say install VM host patch. I'm going to give it the same dash host path argument as before. I'm going to say dash VM host of dollar sign underscore, which will refer to that specific host, and I'm going to say dash run async. And the one thing I forgot to do if you use dash run async, that will uh, generate a task. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to store that in my tasks array, which I set up on this line here. So what's going to happen here, uh, hopefully if I've done everything right, 
is uh, we're going to get four uh, patch tasks running and uh, that will all get stored into this tasks array. We can also take a look on the client and we can see yes in fact we do have four install jobs running. Now back here in PowerShell land we can say wait dash task on this um, array of tasks. And so what that's going to do is it's going to let us know um, the progress of these jobs and also the results of that. So we can see it both on, on this side and on uh, the PowerShell side. You know, so this is a good way if you want to um, you know, apply tasks to a large number of objects at the same time, uh, this is a good pattern to use. Set up an array, uh, run a bunch of jobs asynchronously, and then that array can be fed directly into wait task. Okay, we're starting to see some results coming through, and what we're seeing is a warning that says the system needs to be rebooted for the changes to be effective. Not a big surprise, uh, considering that we're upgrading the firmware of this ESX host. So let's go ahead and wait for all of this stuff to finish up. Okay, there we go. We've uh, patched all four hosts, um, you know, pretty quickly. I think the uh, the nice thing really is that. Um, if you have more hosts, as you say you had 40 hosts or 100 hosts or something like that, uh, the syntax of the code doesn't really change all that much, uh, provided that you can stage this patch in a way that all of the hosts can see it at once. So let's take another look at our hosts, and uh, we'll be able to see that these guys are all still in maintenance mode, ready to get rebooted. So the way we can do that, we also have another a uh, new commandlet in U1, which is restart VM host. So that's uh, a nice easy way to reboot uh, an ESX host. And uh, so we can go ahead and say yes, confirm uh, rebooting all of these hosts. And again, you know, we can switch over to the client and see all these guys getting rebooted. So once all of these are back in uh, maintenance mode and, and ready to go, we can um, basically set them out of maintenance mode, bring them out of that. And the way we do that is just using set VM host again, and we can say state uh, connected. Okay, so that's going to go through and reconnect all of these hosts. And when we do that, we can see that um, basically the build number has uh, been updated to 181472 and uh, basically these guys are patched and ready to go. So that's uh, basically the basic formula for patching through PowerCLI uh, 